Good morning, everyone, and thanks for this moment today to reflect back and look ahead for Holy Trinity's anti-racism ministry. Since this time last year, following the example of our synod partners, we moved away from the term anti-racism team at Holy Trinity, recognizing that we have an anti-racism ministry. And our continued work during 2020 gave us more insight into what that can mean. More on that in a moment. But first, one big question for 2021 is, will we individually and collectively keep focused on anti-racism? Or was the engagement we saw on these issues just a temporary crisis response in 2020 that's already faded as a priority? Be assured, at Holy Trinity, we are already seeing the answer. People keep showing up for these crucial conversations to figure out what it means to confront racism in this time, in this community, and to take collective action. During all of 2020's challenges, we had teachers and medical professionals make time to come along on this journey, and parents and pastors, and we are discovering our path together. It's a good problem to have that there are too many people involved to thank everyone right now who is working on anti-racism at Holy Trinity. But we do want to mention we are grateful for Pastor Ben's leadership and guidance and the ways all of our pastors promote this work and keep challenging us in the sermons we hear to not shy away from wrestling with racism. And Bo for always updating us on ways to keep involved every step of the way. This year, we enter a new phase where we'll learn from all the survey feedback and put those lessons into action. Next month, we'll gather to discuss reparations and we look forward to more crucial conversations together. It's up to all of us to make sure we keep focused. Thank you for all the ways we are growing this ministry together.